Hi, I'm Scorpion's Fatality. My nose is fucking clogged as shit. Uh, currently working on padding up a head. Why did my voice quiver? Head. Heck. Um. You can't see anything lovely. Quality. Scorpion, you're so good at this. That's why. That's why I'm professional. All my sinuses are just clogged so bad right now. You ever, you ever just fucking... Um, this lovely chicken nugget is Donnie, and he is a uh, subspecies of angel dragon that I still have not decided. And, uh, yeah, he's the fabulous boy who I uh, took, like, two days <laughs> to sculpt, and, uh, he's, he's basically done, other than padding up the inside. I know, beginners. Great. I remember when I was first starting out, I was like, what does the inside look like? And people got so disturbed. They were like, why do you want to know? And I'm like, because? Fun fact, if you can actually look in the inside of heads, it's actually a very good learning experience. I know people are like, well, that's creepy. You know what else is creepy? Not asking questions. Whenever you're making fursuits. I actually helped... I kind of mentored my best friend with fursuits. I don't, I, I, I don't like, I don't do it for everyone. I did it for her because I know her. And she's a wonderful person. And she is my floof. Um, my muffin fluffin. But I would not, like, mentor anyone else. I don't want people to know my techniques because I don't want to be copied. Um, and I know, like, you can't see anything. Sorry. But I don't want to burn myself because there's a big ass cardboard box here that I have my glue gun on and pins that keep falling. Pins. Pins galore. And we got foam. And we got the inside. But yeah, he's padded up. We're gonna try him on. People are like, oh, but you hot glue in there. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. You think that's gonna stop me? Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like this. Because now I have free movement of my jaw. I mean, I can't... Okay, there we go. Woo! And, uh... My dumbass has to let that dry. And for my Duchess replica, <laughs> this train wreck right here. She has updated features. But hot damn. Mmm. Quality. These ears were from 2016, and they have not properly been brushed back, as you can see. Look at the fur direction. Me from 2016, what were you even doing? Oh yeah, I was afraid to shave, that's why. I was afraid to shave first. I was like, oh, I'll just brush it downwards. I was fucking dumb. I didn't realize that fur direction was important. And, uh... This needs trimmed. Let's do that on camera. You can watch me. Oh my gosh, it's such a tedious process. I know, I'm trying to like get in frame because I know people are going to be like, I want to see what you're doing. People get weird because they're like, oh, you're not in frame. And I'm like, oh, that's probably important. <laughs> so yes, the boy and the girl basically ready for fur, other than needing to fuck in. Uh, what's it called? Pad her up, because if you look inside of her, she's just, she ain't gonna fit. See, I put her I'm getting flashbacks. Guys, help. I'm getting flashbacks of 2016. Because the head, literally, I did not pad her up at all, and it was literally like this, and then I put, like, a tiny bit in the bridge. And it was just a fucking monstrosity. 
Life advice. Don't do what I did. <laughs> Pat up your heads. <laughs> also, uh, for anyone who wants a tip of advice, whenever you're working with a bucket, you want one seam line. You want one. You don't want two. Use one sheet. Do not use two. If you use two and you have multiple seam lines, which this is a seam line, it's not going to be good. It will fall apart easier. If you say in like a year, you're like, oh, I want to rip the fur off and then I want to redo some of the base. As soon as you rip some of that fur off, say you, you glued fur straight to one of your weaker seam lines that you didn't glue that well. Whoosh, there goes your whole base. It ripped. And the thing about fursuits is that make your bucket, make it fit properly, at least make it decent. You don't got to pad it until later. And the top, you want to make sure that you get afterwards. So yeah, your freebie tips with Scorpion's Fatality. Uh, yeah, I'm not going into nitty gritty though, because you got to pay for that. Actually, you know, you can't get any information out of me. You got to buy my product and you see for yourself. Also, another thing about Duchess, uh, she has a lot of safety features now. Um, ventilation! Woo! Something that I want to bitch slap my 2016 self for. Not including! Also, her muzzle looks a little bit, like, shorter than it did back then, but... Eh. I don't care. Uh, back then her muzzle was, like, this thin. It was, it was super thin, and now it's like, yay, new techniques. I don't really like it, but whatever. It's a replica. Uh, <laughs> new and old techniques! <sighs> this is going to take an hour to upload. Uh, so yeah. I will see you guys later, and I'm probably already going to start furring by the time this is up. So yeah. I, I post whips on my Telegram page, and I do plop them on my Facebook. So, yeah. Bye!